Shabazz Napier and the seventh seed UConn Huskies against Patrick Young and the top seeded Florida Gators. Two teams who have met once before this season, but the stakes much higher this time around in the Final Four. Hello, everyone. I'm Ray Crawford. Let's discuss this showdown with our Florida insider, Chris Harry. And Chris, of the four Final Fours that Billy Donovan has gone to, he's won two national titles in 06 and 07. What has he learned from those previous experiences that will help him this week? I think one of the things he's talking to his players about in the upcoming days is get your personal stuff out of the way. We're talking about tickets, talking about family people. There's a lot of people pulling on, on, on his players from all kinds of ends for whatever it may be the week of the Final Four, even if it's calling to say hello. Get that stuff out of the way. In fact, Billy gave the team Sunday off. He's giving them Monday off. Get this stuff all out of the way. They're not practicing. They're going to have some meetings. And he's talking about focusing on the game. For this is, this is the Super Bowl of college basketball. They're not prepared for what's coming at them, whether someone's going to ask them if, they're, if they wanted to be a tree, what would be their favorite tree. That's the kind of stuff they're going to get, that kind of nonsense. He's trying to prepare them for that. He, he's been through it. They haven't. That's what he's dealing with right now. Well, I know you're not asking those questions about it, Tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all know UConn was the last team to beat Florida. That came way back in December. Is there anything we can learn from that game that could be a factor Saturday, or is it completely different because Florida wasn't at full strength then like they are now? Well, exactly. It was, it, was, it was 30 games ago, and Florida's a different team, and certainly UConn's a different team. They're both far better teams. And if you recall, that was Scotty Wilbekin's third game back from his suspension. He rolled his ankle with a little more than three minutes left in the game. And UConn, of course, won the game on a buzzer beater. But they also had a four-point po four play, not surprisingly, also by Shabazz Napier in those last few minutes when Scotty Wilbekin probably would have been on the court, no doubt would have been on the court. So this is a different team. But like I said, Connecticut's a different team, too, and a much better one. All right, let's bring in our analyst, Drew Nicholas, and Florida, certainly with Patrick Young and company, very formidable in the low post. What's the answer for the Huskies around the rim, do you think? Well, I think it's going to be exactly what we saw against Michigan State. I thought that they did a great job of denying the basketball to both Adrian Payne as well as Brendan Dawson. And then once they did get the ball, they did a lot of trapping the basketball from post to post. And I think that Patrick Young's not going to be able to get those low post touches. And if you can just push him out just a little bit, he has a really tough time scoring the basketball because we all know that his touch inside the paint isn't that good. Well, Patrick's best offensive game this season was at UConn. He had 17 points to go with seven rebounds. He made a huge three-point play when the game was on the line down at the end, just before Shabazz Napier made that game winner. He certainly, and he's, he's the best low post defender in the country. So uh, I'm not at all worried about Florida's front court. What, what I'd like to see, though, is Dorian Finney-Smith. He had six turnovers in the game. And again, that was his fifth game back from that season, uh, from the early season suspension. He's going to be much more in tune with Florida's ball movement and such, with his pivot, which is pivotal what they do in the half court. Well, one guy that I really think that the Gators are going to have trouble with is DeAndre Daniels. I think this kid is probably the most underrated player in the tournament coming into the Final Four. I know when you, when you think about Connecticut, everybody thinks about their backcourt and Shabazz Napier as well as Brian Boatwright. But when DeAndre Daniels is scoring, especially like he did against Iowa State with 27 points and 10 rebounds, that makes UConn very, very scary basketball team. And I don't know, I really think that Connecticut has a chance in this basketball game just like earlier this season. Gators are very weary of DeAndre Daniels. He's the one, if you'll watch that Shabazz Napier play, he's the one to crash the glass and tip the ball back for Napier to have that second chance. So the key is to get a body on that guy. No second chance opportunities for the Huskies. See how things go in the low post, a physical game, no doubt. All right, Chris Harry, thanks very much. And Drew, thanks to you as well. And don't forget, we are at the Final Four. Reports from Bonnie Bernstein and Jordan Cornett from North Dallas on CampusInsiders.com.